Move off when you're ready, out through the gate to the left. Vehicles to the right have a stop line, so we should have priority. Take the next road on the left, then, at the end of that short road, turn left again onto the main road. Slow right down, even stop, as the view to the right is usually obscured. the roundabout, turn right, third exit. Plan ahead to see if we need to slow for oncoming traffic. Even though the obstructions are on the other side of the road, we can't see round the corner if it's clear of oncoming traffic, so slow until we can see. Watch for cars turning into the road that don't give way, although this one rightly does. Take the next road on the left. Killing the speed before the giveaways allows us to do clutch control easily on the hill. Take the next road on the right. Keep an eye on the parked cars and the turning point, not just the oncoming car. Pull up on the left in a safe place. We're now going to drive independently for some time, by following the sat-nav. Drive on when you're ready. In 80 yards, turn left. Turn left. Look at the profile of the turn, it's so sharp, keep the car straight until we're out in the new road, so the back wheel doesn't go over the curb. In 300 yards, turn right. If there are a number of roads close together, like on the right, then keep glancing back and forth between them and the sat-nav to see which one we meet. Don't just stare at the sat-nav for too long at once, as you won't be paying attention to your positioning. Turn right. Here, the two sets of traffic lights are separate. The first is a crossing area for pedestrians and the second set are for the major junction. The lights stay red until 5 minutes 37, so you may want to fast forward.
stop at the next red light. In 80 yards, turn right. The left lane goes right as well here. If you use the right hand lane instead through the next junction, be sure to stick to it all the way through. Turn right. The lorry is slightly across our lane, so we may as well hold back as there's not much room, and not much progress to be made. Check mirrors as lanes merge. In 400 yards, keep left. We commit just as the bus signals to pull out. It's very clear ahead, so we'll continue with the overtake. Abandoning the overtake and slotting back in behind the bus would have been fine too. Keep left. In 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Look at the road layout on the approach to the roundabout and take up the lane early. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. In 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit.
Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. In 80 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. In 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. In 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Just because you hear third exit, don't assume it's turning right. Glance at the sat now for the way the arrow is pointing, which is straight ahead and use the road signs to confirm the third exit is indeed straight ahead. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit. In 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. When it's safe to do so, could you operate the rear demister please? Just quickly glance as many times as you need for the button without taking your eyes off the road for too long at any time. Thanks. In 400 yards, keep left. Keep left. For the traffic lights here, recognize that they do not cover our lane and therefore don't apply to us. Looking ahead, we have our own lane, we are not merging with the other lane. sat-nav is pointing somewhere between ahead and right, so let's wait and see what it says. In 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Let's look to the signs for where the third exit goes. It looks to be straight ahead, so let's stay in the left lane unless arrows say otherwise. Checking the arrows on the floor, we're good. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit.
next set nav direction is pretty clear. Looks like we'll be going left at another roundabout. In 400 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Following another learner, they may not be confident, so leave some extra distance. In 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Yes, the green sign is important, but don't discount the others. They might have important information. Looks like we need the right-hand lane to go ahead this time. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. In 200 yards, you have arrived at your destination. Pull up on the left in a safe place. Next to the bus stop is not an acceptable place to park up. That's the end of the independent driving section, I'll give you directions from now on. Drive on when you're ready. Take the next road on the right.
At the roundabout, turn left. Pull up on the right in a safe place, this will be part of your maneuver. Be sure to park neatly, parallel to the curb. Then that will make the reverse part easier. I'd now like you to reverse in a straight line for two car lengths, keeping reasonably close to the curb, when you're ready. Keep checking behind, over both shoulders, and ahead for road users and pedestrians. Stop or crawl extremely slowly, as the scooter is getting close now. That's far enough, thanks. Drive on when you're ready. Take the next road on the right. Look at the road markings, our center line bends around to the left. The giveaway lines are for those exiting the road from the right. We should only give way to the left as we are just turning right into a side road. It looks a little strange though as it's on a bend. Pull up on the left in a safe place. Drive on when you're ready. Take the next road on the left. This car that zoomed past as we parked up is now badly parked on the corner. We'll need to go really slow and be ready to stop for traffic in the new road, as we'll be forced onto the wrong side almost immediately. Definitely a first gear one. Scan the road signs and layout, follow the road ahead if there are no verbal instructions. At the end of the road, turn left. the roundabout, turn right, third exit.
the roundabout, follow the road ahead, second exit. The lanes are very narrow, pay attention to the steering we have to do before the giveaway line. Take the next road on the left, it'll be at the traffic lights. After this left turn, we'll then need to take up the right-hand lane on the new road for our directions later. It's one lane going into two, so there shouldn't be room for any vehicles to pass us on our right so, if there are no bikes or e-scooters, we can drift to the right-hand lane immediately. Lights are the red ones, so let's slow. At the next traffic lights, we'll be turning left. If traffic were heavier than this, we'd have to be careful not to block any entrances or exits on the left. After we've turned left here, We'll then be turning right at the next set of traffic lights. They are not that far apart. Again, similar situation to a couple of minutes ago, one lane going into two, we should be okay to take up the right hand lane immediately. We'll hold back from the van. We don't need to be side by side unnecessarily. You'll shortly see why it's smarter to avoid being next to others in adjacent lanes as much as possible. The traffic lights are just after the bridge, where we'll be turning right. Could the van be about to change lanes? 
We're keeping ourselves out of danger if it does. A toot of the horn from them, at least they are aware that they are hazard, even if they are not aware of where they actually want to go. Let's keep more distance than usual. They move forward into the bike waiting area, perhaps shaping up to do a U-turn. Let's keep well back. Definitely not enough space for them to do that U-turn. Still keep an eye on them as they could do anything, like a U-turn across traffic here. Sigh of relief. They actually didn't end up doing anything particularly dangerous. Take the next road on the right. At the end of the road, turn left. No giveaway lines, but the road shape suggests we do need to, as we've reached the end of our road. Need to take time to look. Ready to wait for oncoming traffic but then they park up. Parked cars on a bend, slow and ready to stop until we can see round the corner there's no oncoming traffic. The roundabout, turn right, third exit. Take the next road on the right, then turn immediately right again, back to the test center. The first filter box is not for us, the upside down arrow in it is a clue to that. Here's ours, fill the box and straighten up before turning, so as not to block traffic behind following the road ahead. Ready here to give way to traffic from ahead, not the sides. Drive ahead, through the gate, beware of vehicles on your left, 
then drive forward into any space. You've already done your maneuver, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Secure the car and turn off the engine. I'm pleased to say you've passed. 